All right, so we got another welding project today. So a friend of mine brought over a rim that is cracked. It's just uh, one of these boys here, GMC, and it does have this crack in it. So they said it doesn't really matter. They were gonna scrap it anyways, but figured maybe I could try to fix it for them. So what I'm gonna do is clean this up, probably bevel it from both sides, probably drill a hole at the end of the crack so it actually stops the splitting, and we'll try to clean this thing up and see if we can fix it for them. drilled and that's basically like I said just to stop the cracking so if you were to just weld this section there's nothing really stopping it from splitting that anymore so drill a hole in it then it gives it a stopping point and we can weld it back up Okay, so I got everything kind of cleaned up and beveled. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna use the, the arc and I'm gonna clean the whole thing on the inside. Make sure it's nice and nice and good and then we'll start throwing some filler in it. All right, so kind of just went over it with the cleaning, just with the arc to boil some of the crap out of it, and then hit it with the wire brush and I'll start adding some filler to it. That's one side, and we'll flip it and hit it from the other side.
side number two. All right, sir, I might build it up a little bit more around the end and then we're gonna start to grind the whole thing down. Alright, so it's already looking pretty decent. What I did was I just went around it with some sandpaper in this groove so I can kind of compare a good spot to where I welded so I can see all the low spots. So all the black in there are the low spots. You can see where the weld was and that was a dip where the sandpaper didn't hit. So now what I'll do is go back through and I'll add a little bit of material in there. Hit it with the flat disc again. Smooth it out. You can see this whole section here, this whole big oval. That's a low spot. So I'm gonna add some filler here and these black spots and then I'll go back over it. But other than that, the contour of the outside of the wheel is looking pretty good. And that doesn't really matter, but it's already kind of hard to tell. So if you look on the inside, I still gotta do the inside yet. But looks looks pretty good. Okay, so here is the final result. Right on the back side, and you can't even really tell where it was. You can tell where there's some dimples there, and then that, I think it was right, it was right around here somewhere. One of these areas where it's a little, got a little bit more material. Yeah, I can't even really feel where it was. So I think it, I uh, did okay. So that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside, on the back. So I did add a little bit more material in here because there was kind of some low spots and backfilled it flap wheel back down and looks okay.